In this video I'm going to show you what it's like to go camping in temperatures far colder than your gear can handle. Several years ago I made the mistake of going camping right when a storm was happening and then the storm cleared out a little bit early. The forecast was for zero degrees Fahrenheit or about minus 18 degrees Celsius. And I thought, oh, perfect. I'll just take my zero degree gear. I'll be fine. The, the storm will stay, it'll keep warm, no problem. Oh, what a mistake. In fact, as I was camping, the storm actually accelerated, cleared out, and the temperatures dropped to almost minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit or about minus 35 degrees Celsius. It was way colder than my poor Western mountaineering antelope could handle. My standard leather boots, even with my ultra heavy socks and my down booties, just totally didn't cut it. So I actually got a little bit of nerve damage. I didn't get any frostbite. I guess maybe it would call it frost nip, but boy, it was super cold. When I got out, put my boots on, I started jogging in place. And as I was hiking down the hill I was on, not just the tips of my toes, not just my toes, but the balls of my feet, and even to the, my midfoot were on fire and they were hurting like I was in cold water, like a, in a frozen river. But that told me that my skin temperature had dropped to below, uh, was it uh, nine degrees Celsius or about 38 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, which means that damage was setting in. I was able to get home and get my feet into some very warm buckets of water, but it took a good month for my feet to fully recover from all the tingling and fire. Oh gosh, it was miserable. So that's why in my videos and in my book, where's my book? That's why in my book, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, I advocate for getting and using gear that's at least 20 degrees Fahrenheit or about eh, like 12 or 13 degrees Celsius warmer than the lowest possible temperatures you think you're going to encounter. So if it's zero degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius, plan for minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus like uh, minus 30 plus Celsius because if a storm blows through and it clears out temperatures plummet and man it was just crazy cold I had never experienced anything where the temperatures on a normal stormy day dropped to 30 degrees below zero in Fahrenheit that was just super unpleasant so I'm going to cut to the video and uh, literally I'm mean, still thinking about it to this day, it was terrible. But uh, cut to the video, show you what the conditions were like, and man, chilly. Oh, welcome to Cold Camp One. It's about 7.45 in the morning, lightly snowing. Oh, what a long night. Got to bed about seven and it was cold, probably around five, 10 degrees and overnight. I'm not exactly sure where it dipped down to, but I was cold the entire night. And I was in a zero degree, or am in a zero degree sleeping bag. So doing okay, but uh, definitely chilly. So I gotta get going here. It's real beautiful here. Kept hearing these weird sounds every so often. As long as a bear or something didn't fall asleep next to me. <laughs> that would have been exciting. Did have my bear spray handy. But, doing okay, just need to get going here. Oh yeah, training for Denali. This is a psychological toughen up part. Not painful and no injuries, but oh boy, it's cold. Whew. Thank goodness for the world's most powerful hat. That's uh, by Mouse Works over in Virginia, Western Virginia, by Timothy. Awesome hat. That's what kept me going. My head was blazing, but my feet were freezing, so I guess on average I was comfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, with my hand out here, it is freezing. Real nice snowflakes falling, though, but oh, whew. Cold Camp One, and it's cold. Whoo, my feet are cold. I'm gonna have to do the stompy stompy, it's freezing. Definitely below zero. Holy moly. <sighs> Doing okay. One toe's a little purple. Ah, uh, not pleasant. Yeah, get packed up and get the heck out of here. Whoo, boy. 
here we are. Hopefully my toes don't have a little frostbite. Well, oh my gosh, I'm hurting. It's cold. I'm almost sweating on my chest, but my toes are on fire. I gotta get some insulated boots. No bueno for this stuff. Holy moly. I gotta keep moving. Unfortunately, I had to abandon my stakes at my camp. One of them was destroyed. I have to buy some new ones. Yeah, pounding in the frozen ground, not gonna work. Oh, that's no good. So, gotta get a new rig and bring my hubba tender better. Oh. Cool, a baby sun pillar. Coming from the sun. Straight down. Sparkling. Oh, that is awesome. All right, well, hopefully it didn't cost me a toe or something, but that is gorgeous. My first night attempt, I ended up going straight up that thing, which is way steeper. That was pretty exciting until I realized where I was and went across and into the draw. Should have gone across, but I went straight up to that saddle and then over to the normal area. Normally you head for this rock and the trail wings around it. That's a target. All right, cold camp one. It was cold. I don't know how cold it was, but holy cow. I have my liner gloves and my zero degree gloves on and boy, in five minutes, my fingers were on fire and freezing. Hopefully my toes are still Okay, but yeah, definitely that was below zero. Holy moly. Up there. Whew. Okay, off to home. <laughs> Go motivation. I hope you enjoyed the little short video clips of me going out there and freezing my keister off and that you might not make the same mistakes I did. Now, when I was in Antarctica, yeah, that was minus 40, minus 50. I was fully prepared for that. I knew it got crazy cold. I talk about that in my book, Adventure Expedition 1. It tells you about how to deal with all that. I've been some miserably cold, crazy temperatures, minus 30 on Denali. And of course, my book, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, that talks about all these things so you can stay warm and prevent any frostbite, frost nip, or nerve damage that I've suffered by learning from my mistakes and enjoying more time in the cold using the proper gear and knowing that sometimes the bottom will drop out it'll get minus 20 degrees fahrenheit colder or about minus 12 degrees celsius colder than you could possibly expect and that's the best way to prevent injury and still have you enjoy your time in the outdoors my name is Aaron Linsdow. i'm a polar explorer oddly enough and a professional adventurer please check out links below in the description to all these books Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, Antarctic Tears, Lost of Windy Corner, uh, Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 2024 Total Eclipse Guides. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, and enjoy your cold camping.